So, here's the material we're going to see today. It's just a concrete. Okay, although it's uh, simpler and the whole graph is simpler, I think it's pretty cool. And it's mostly, or well, only microsurface as you can see. But it's nice to see how we can add all these little uh, details, all this uh, nice microsurface. And what we can also do is make it so that it looks like it cracked, given that we also change the normal a little bit. Okay, so we can now have also cracked concrete. Okay, let me control Z. And we will see a graph. Here's the, all the graph. Okay, it's simpler and uh, relatively smaller than anything else we've done. So expect this one to be faster. Let's start. So what am I doing is basically working with Grants maps and getting all the little micro details. And I've uh, separated them with passes. And basically I take, I create noises in each pass or, or you know, surface detail and all that, or gray scales, make normals and basically combine uh, each pass. Okay with the next one and the next one and I also have a little bit of differentiation in uh, the very end without having to worry with the normal of course you can add it if you like it but I think it looks fine uh, the way it is anyway okay let's see this ones first since they are very simple roughness I just went with a universal color this time since we're only concerned with the microsurface of course you can add a little bit more noise to this and metallic of course is always black so let's see with a first pass I started with a fractal sound base let me lower this and open this a little bit more okay fractal sound base I run a warp uh, a warp node with the clouds too okay and you can see that it starts getting without having to do much it already started looking like concrete you know and this looks like where the constructors uh, you know passed uh, the spades I don't know how they call it okay so I want to add a little bit more differentiation on top of this of course so I'm going to add a grounds map uh, 11001 okay I played with the values as you can see and we get uh, this thing and it also comes with a little bit of these noisy patches and I'm going to work this around so that you know it also looks like something is placed and I'm going to blend it with max lighten on top of my fractal sound base and as you can see it's not even that distinct anymore it just breaks apart a little bit the pattern we have uh, from the previous uh, from the fractals and base of course we can go if we go full board with this it will show even more okay so after that I'm going to add black and white spots okay levels node you can see what I did I'm going to sharpen it a bit and then I'm ready to subtract from my base so we have these little spots into concrete. of course we can go overboard with this and get some very black spots okay depends what you want to look and how weathered you want uh, your concrete to be and then we output it on a normal uh, node okay and I have the intensity to 3 and I have the intensity to 3 because I like the surface variations it does over here okay I think it looks pretty nice so the second pass we will start with the grounds map uh, 003 I'll take a transformation to D and hit that X2 so that uh, it gets larger okay because I thought this one is just a little bit uh, too small to fit on concrete and this I think looks a little bit better okay just the levels note although I didn't change much because I wanted to test some things basically 
so you can remove this I won't and I also add a little bit of a sharpen node so that everything pops out a little bit more okay and we have and we probably can add this too and we can have a little bit even more distinct uh, details as we can see here although I think yeah it might be a little bit more extreme oh, I think it looks pretty nice for this far away I guess yeah, yeah I think it gets yeah it all depends the you know the deep the kind of wall you want to make I think without the serpent uh, looks a bit more uh, you know less weathered but with Sapren it looks like a bit like they added another uh, you know another another layer of cement on top of it and it didn't stuck to bit uh, too good on it anyway so normals I'm going to turn this into a normal okay I want it intensity pretty much low intensity and I'm going to combine it with a normal from the first pass of course you cannot see a lot of stuff over here okay and on our grayscale I'm going to add it with subtract and the more uh, the higher the opacity of course the higher the distinction between it okay so that is the second pass for the third pass I basically want to add uh, the little cracks or you know lines that we see so I start with cells 3 node okay I'm distance at 2 and a bit of disorder run through a levels node and almost grants the values run through warp node with the perlin noise 2 then I invert the grayscale and I use a slow blur grayscale and I use another cells one node or a cells one node okay and we get this little differentiation you know the chipping we get is much different than uh, if we're using something else okay and I kind of like this a lot more uh, for this particular concrete okay the intensity uh, some is always 32 they tested 0.62 and mode to max then I will multiply this with uh, the original one we invert the grayscale so it softens this uh, up a little bit and it's ready almost ready because I have different normals okay I want to separate uh, before I add it, my grayscale I want to separate it uh, from yeah because I have different normals basically and I want to add uh, different density on my normals so what I did is I added through a blend node with a black color and we should probably optimize this things in my 60 okay so we add a black color I've created the mask from a cloud to node it's a different uh, seed than the first one uh, cloud to node so I'm using this okay levels place it around the way you want uh, your cracks to be and blend them together and you know I get blackened areas so this is not everywhere then I run it through a levels node just in case I want to add more stuff uh, over here I'm not doing anything with this okay so then I'm adding it on my blend node as we've seen already if I raise this we get the actual cracks okay and even like this I think it looks pretty nice down here okay like this can actually be used in a game and no one will even notice okay I think it looks pretty good and 
Yeah. We can have, we can run it on a normal. Keep in mind you know, that if you are raising uh, the subtract, you probably need to raise the normal too, so that it looks like it's indented in. Okay, this one looks now even better. So this is the second, the third pass. So the final pass I've added is a little bit of moisture upon the concrete because you know uh, concrete usually is cement that uh, usually wet and then stops being wet and that's why uh, and, it's, it <coughs> and it settles okay if i raise this you will see where it goes but i only want a sub little difference since of course you can go a little bit more on top of it and you can also add this into the roughness now that I think of, uh, about it so the wet parts can have a different uh, roughness so this might be you know wet parts so they actually shine okay but I'm going to leave that entirely up to you and I'm gonna go a little bit down okay final pass and I'm actually just using a gradient map just to turn this into color information instead of a grayscale and output it to base color even though you can output it directly uh, but I don't know if you should output it directly but anyway it just looks uh, nice so uh, we're actually done okay this one was simpler I actually didn't have a lot of time to prepare for this week and probably in most of the weeks ahead I won't have a lot of time so I wanted to do something yeah, much simpler but it's still a lot to learn and you can learn a lot of stuff by doing simple uh, simple materials like this okay because it's just nice to see the differentiation on uh, and how you can work basically with simple nodes because as I said in a previous video you will most likely uh, in a game use simple materials than use something that you know will look uh, so distinct so you know what to do like subscribe check out the links in the description and i'll see you next time